All right, guys, so I was cleaning the, the uh, frogs here and taking care of the isopods here behind me, and you know what? There's a topic that just keeps coming up, and it's bothering me, so I'm going to make a video about it, and that's mutants. Um, there's a lot of bad information out there on mutants, um, you know, one of which is, well, they don't live past six months. Well, they do. This is a three and a half year old female. My original female. Sorry, I don't have a cameraman today, guys. I don't know how much you, you, good you can see here. But perfectly healthy, translucent, three and a half year old. Doing well. Um, I'm sure I got more here I could show you. Here we go. This girl has not yet bred for us. This is a full black eyed translucent female. She's uh, about a year, year and a half. Don't jump away, sweetheart. Um, I, I got more. I mean, but there's a whole video, feeding video, of me um, going ahead and showing these animals eating. They're, they're, they don't just, like, magically die at six months, guys. And honestly, these rumors are created because the public wants mutants. We get, we get requests for mutants on almost a daily basis. Here's the problem, guys. There's not many mutants in the country. Uh, the gene pool is really small. Uh, I would venture to say we probably have one of the largest mutant collections right here. But I'm doing it the right way here. And how we're doing it and the reason it's taking so long is we went ahead and made some pets. So I, I don't know if it's recessive or not, which is why I use the quotes. So for instance, this gal, she was made couple years ago she's just about ready to breed she's got you know a uh, mother you actually just saw you, that was the mom um, for a couple years ago and basically we're gonna breed her to mutant and see what happens the genetics is very all over the place every time we breed mutant to something sometimes you get some wacky stuff and sometimes you don't sometimes you get nothing so I have a whole bunch of animals that I've held back, they're just about ready to breed, that are from that line, but they're not visually mutant. So we're going to see what happens, because I have actually spawned out mutants before from animals that weren't mutant. So, and I believe that's going to make them a lot stronger. While well, breed them back to Cranwell, you're going to make a better line. So why does Pat want to do that? A couple of reasons. Number one, there's not many of them out there, so I want to strengthen the line. Because if we just keep pigeonholing these mutants and breeding them together, 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 it's not going to be good. I actually have not bred any mutant to mutant here yet. It has not happened. And, and we've been working on this project for over three years. Now, are there issues? Yeah, there's issues. There's issues with every single Pac-Man. Granwell's, Cornuda, Cornuda, horrible leaders. They, you know, you really got to pay more attention to them. They're not for the beginners. So it, there's issues with every single one. But one of the main issues with mutants, which I will address today, is the mouth. They, because of this pigeonholing and these genetic effects, the earlier ones that we were producing, even mutant to not mutant, would create a mouth that was um, a little bit deformed. Let me see if I can find something here to show you that. I don't even know if we have any, to be honest. One second. All right. Yeah, so here's one. I mean, beautiful purple. I'm again, okay, buddy. I don't know if you can see that, but he's got a slight very slight underbite. <laughs> you're mad, I know. Slight underbite. Sorry, buddy. But I'm, you're being educational right now. I know you want to bite me. So, he does have a slight underbite there. And that that's uh that's something we're working to take care of. That doesn't mean these animals aren't going to live a long and healthy life. It means they probably shouldn't, uh, you know, be bred to certain animals and definitely need to be outcrossed into something else. And that's something I'm working very hard on, which is why you don't see mutants, you know, being thrown out in every single spawn. I mean, could we do it? Maybe. I just don't think I want to. Um, you know, they're beautiful animals. They deserve the time it takes to get them to the market to you guys 
in a better condition, a better genetic condition. That's the problem with all of them. It's not like Cranwell's, which, you know, we actually had Cranwell's Wild Caught come into the market uh, about 20 years ago. Um, so it's been a while, but at least there's been new blood. Uh, but most of the Cranwell's you see in the country come from a few animals. Um, so when you hear people be like, I want to get different bloodlines, good luck. We can't get them in. Uh, not even like the breeders. We can't get wild caught Cranwelli, wild caught Ornata in anymore. Um, so we're doing the best we can with what we got and trying not to keep the genetics as, as far as we can. So I apologize. This turned into a really big kind of genetics issues but uh, video. But that is the issues with the mutants. They're way more rare than, say, a strawberry Pac-Man. So you, you, you don't have as many things that you can outcross them with. On top of that, their genetics is really... Um, really difficult it, it's you know it's not easy so uh, that's why it's taking so long guys but that's the, that's the myth they don't die at three four five months if there's no there's no adult mutants I just showed you proof of that and I can show you more of it it's a lie um, so they're just old wives tales from um, people who either didn't keep them keep their Pac-Mans correctly which we, you, could, you could lose a, any Pac-Man if you're not keeping them correctly could not live past six months I don't care what it is if your husbandry's off and not working they're all gonna die um, but I, like I said I could show you many examples you could check out the other um, the other feeding video that we have on here that actually shows the mutants eating they get kept exactly the same as everybody else they grown up the same way they're a little bit slower growers, but other than that, there's, I, I really don't have uh, that kind of issues with them. So uh, hopefully this has answered some questions for you guys out there and gotten rid of some of that misinformation. Um, and that's the, part of the reason the mutants are so expensive. When mutants do come to market, um, they're so long to make a good mutant to get to you. So be wary of people who are like, yeah, I just bred this mutant, uh, it's, it's 100 bucks, it's 50 bucks. Yeah, they probably didn't take the right route, and they're probably not ethical, so be careful with that. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, we'll be making more with some pro tips and stuff. I'd like to make a video about showing you guys how you can keep uh, Pac-Man's and Rack Systems. If you're a hoarder like me and you love a ton of different ones, we're going to show you how to do it. So, subscribe to the channel. Hit that like button. really helps us out. Let's me know you're watching. Uh, take care, guys.